They call it the 2023 Lenovo Yoga 9i. And in this video, let's unbox it. Now this has the latest 13th gen Intel i7 1360p. If I had ever in the video call it the 1260p, it's because 13th gen, it takes a little while to get used to. And so forgive my misspeaking if that so happens. Now, I'm really curious about the changes and improvements on this model this year. Part of me feels like we're gonna see a lot of the same thing as last year. However, companies have been known to surprise us from time to time. So let's check it out, see what comes in the box. Ooh, that. That's cool. I like that a lot. That's one thing I really like about the yogas is uh, they have really nice packaging. The model that I have came with the sleeve and I'm pretty sure it'll come with a pen as well. But I love the red this year. That looks really cool. Last year it was a gray lettering on the top and I really like the red. And of course the packaging, um, it's got like this recycled material feel. I don't know if it's recycled material, but it definitely feels like it. Holy moly. Make sure you bring your knife for this one. That was not an easy feat. All right, let's get rid of that. There's your sleeve. Uh, same as last year, the yoga sleeve. It's really nice because it has a magnetic little, little spot there where it kind of mounts on. And then your pen can slide right into this sleeve here. And so being on the go with this one, you make sure you don't lose your pen. You can keep it in the carrying case so you don't misplace it. And for me, that is huge because I'm constantly misplacing the pens for these laptops. Now we're actually gonna put benchmarks in this video. Later in the video, I'm gonna throw up a Photoshop benchmark. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So you can kind of see the initial performance of the latest 13th gen processor out of the Yoga 9i. I love the red. Like I said, this looks great. Let's look and see before we pull the laptop out if it comes with a pen. Yes, it comes with a pen in the box. And as I mentioned earlier, it slides nicely into the sleeve on the carrying case. Make sure that doesn't get lost. Love that. I'm actually going to keep that there so I don't lose it. All right. Let's check out the laptop now. All right. Same design and build as last year's model. So in my humble opinion, it's going to come down to performance from going with 2022 or shelling out a little bit of cash for the 2023 model. With the same large trackpad on top, fantastic mounting of the trackpad to the chassis, really nice, confident click. I'm gonna go and do a tap test for you here, listen to this. No rattliness of the chassis. Now I love the speaker setup. The speakers actually come out of the side of the chassis rather than out of the bottom. And you also have the speaker bar here by Bowers and Wilkins along the front. So it creates a very immersive audio experience. And of course, this is a two in one laptop. Great for artists, designers, and photographers touching up those photos on the go. Keyboard feels nice under my fingers. It's more of a short key press. So for somebody who likes that kind of thin and light on the go laptop with a shorter key press, then this is the way to go. Um, the gaming laptops are gonna have that longer, more clicky key press. On the side of the keyboard deck, we have some nice functions. You have your fingerprint reader for quick open. You can go ahead and switch your settings from daytime to nighttime really quickly. You can go and toggle your audio preferences, whether you're listening to music, on a web call, or gaming. You can immediately throw up a blurry background with this button if you're on a video call. So say you jump on a video call, you don't like your background, just go ahead and click that right on the keyboard deck blurs your background. And then also the performance selection. You can quickly jump through performance modes right here from the quick access key. So you don't even have to jump into the Lenovo Vantage Center. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the Lenovo Yoga 9i, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Now, if you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. The screen flex on this laptop is great. It's a very rigid screen, so excellent build quality. As you go ahead and close it and flip it over, you can see the assembly of the laptop is fantastic as well. To me, this is one of the most premium thin and light laptops that money can buy. I definitely put this on par with the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360 and Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro. So the 14 inch model would most relate 
to the size of this. However, the Pro 360 in the 16 inch model would relate more to the functionality and features being that both laptops are two in one laptops and they both have touchscreens. Now, as you look at the assembly here, it fits so nicely into the side panel, no catchy edges, easily take off the bottom cover to reveal the internal components. And we'll do that later in the video. Now, not only do we have those side speakers, but we also have speakers on the bottom. So you get a very immersive audio experience. And during the full review, I'll give you a sample of what that sounds like. Taking a look at the ports, we have a USB type A on the left side panel and two USB type C's. And on the right side panel, we have our headphone jack, another USB type C and your power button. Now keep in mind that the charger will be USB type C. And so you're gonna have one of those USB type C's occupied. Speaking of the charger block, we have a 100 watt charger block. I really like that they didn't go with a sub 100 watt charger block because that means we're gonna be pushing a lot of power into the laptop to make sure we get full performance out of that 13th gen CPU when we're plugged into power. And I'm really curious what kind of performance we're gonna get unplugged. And we'll make sure we run both of those tests. Open and close the lid is a little tricky with one hand. It's kind of hard to catch that edge right there, but you can get it with your nail and then it opens very smoothly with one hand. But the initial catch is a little difficult. Um, there is a ridge there but it's just a little challenging to grab. Now the display is absolutely beautiful. It's an OLED 14 inch display, really nice tall aspect ratio to fit a lot on your screen. I love these thin and light on the go friendly laptops, which provide a lot of screen real estate with this taller aspect ratio screen. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360, I will do a head to head review. So make sure you keep an eye on the channel and when it's available, I'll link it up at the end of this video. All right, now for those of you who are interested in a sample of the webcam, here's a quick sample so you can see what that looks and sounds like. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Yoga 9i and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Looking at the Photoshop benchmark, we saw a nice bump in performance this year with the Yoga 9i over last year's model, beating it out by over 200 points. So definitely an improvement going from 12th gen to 13th gen on this specific laptop. Keep an eye out for the one week later review, and we're gonna have even more benchmarks coming out to you guys, so stay tuned. Now I really like how the keyboard sits a little below the rest of the deck. You can see it kind of sinks down a little bit in. It just creates a very nice keyboard bed and it sits nicely in there. It looks great visually and it makes the keys sit a little lower. So everything's almost even as you run your hand across the chassis. So I love the design on this. Now, something I did for the Samsung Galaxy book, and I think I'm gonna start doing for more laptops is the chassis flex. You obviously want a tiny bit of flex because if your laptop gets dropped, you want it to flex a little bit so it doesn't break, but you don't want it to be overly flexy. And as we take a look at the Yoga 9i, you can see it has ever so slightly bit of flex, but not enough as we mentioned with the Book 2 from last year, it was so flexy. It's a very nice rigid chassis with great build materials and fantastic assembly. It was one of the best built 14 inch laptops that money can buy right now. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the laptop over, take a look at the internal components and see if there's any sort of upgrade path with this laptop. All right, so keep in mind, I got the bottom cover off, but if you're going to be doing this yourself, make sure you pull off this rubber piece here at the back of the bottom cover of the chassis, which will reveal three Phillips head screws, pull those out, and then you can slowly loosen it with a uh, laptop removal kit. Of course, I always like to use the little iFixit kits. They work super well. Um, and then just pull off the bottom cover, which then reveals the 73.2 watt hour battery and a swappable SSD. Now this is a big advantage above the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360 and Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 3 Pro, uh, Book 3 Pro. Um, you can upgrade the storage on your own, a big advantage over the MacBook Pro as well. However, the problem is you can't upgrade the RAM. And I feel like this is an area that I wish they would stop bottlenecking. So you're stuck at 16 gigs of RAM and I just checked Lenovo's website and you can't actually upgrade to 32 gigs. So the same situation we have with the Galaxy Books we have here with the Yoga 9i and that is you are stuck at 16 gigs of RAM with this model. I just think for creative professionals, if they're going for this market, it's foolish to bottleneck because Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere Pro, all of these programs benefit from having more RAM. However, with the performance of that Photoshop benchmark, you can see that it still does get great performance, but as far as multitasking is concerned, that RAM will be a bit of a bottleneck. So just keep that in mind. I wish somebody would invent an external RAM module that you can just like plug into a USB-C port and gives you more RAM, but a boy can dream. Maybe I'll invent that.
I wouldn't even know where to start, but I could. Don't forget to click or tap the screen here for more videos about the Lenovo Yoga 9i, and I will see you here in the next one.